As promised, we continue our conversation with the founder and managing director of Draper Fisher Jewardson, a venture capitalist at Tim Draper. He recently beat out 44 other bidders at the U.S. government's Bitcoin auction last week. Tim, you now own 30,000 Bitcoins, estimated value roughly $19 million. Are you that much of a believer in the virtual currency? Yeah, I'm very excited about this. Um, I think Bitcoin is as big a transformation to the finance and uh, uh, commerce industry as the Internet was for uh, information and communications, as peer-to-peer -peer technology was to, uh, to telephony. Uh, I think this is as big a change as any of those are, and I am very excited about Bitcoin and what it can do for the world. Uh, it's going to open up the world in even a bigger way than the Internet did uh, right through commerce. OK, so I hear you say that it's important for the world. And I can understand that Bitcoin looks good in a system where countries, let's say the currencies, are less stable mm -hmm. than the dollar Argentina comes to mind. But how long till mass adoption in North America or does it matter? Well, so, yeah, to start with, the obvious choices are uh, there's a company called Bitpagos that is uh, operating in Argentina and one called CoinCove operating in Mexico and one called Pagatech operating in Africa. These are countries, these are, Africa's not a country, it's a continent. Um, but these are areas where, uh, where they don't have super confidence in their own fiat currency. And as a result, Bitcoin looks more attractive to them. Um, in North America, uh, we have very good, we have a strong currency and we have very good uh, commerce, but we do have friction to our commerce. I mean, we pay credit card bills, we pay, we pay two and a half to four percent for credit cards. Bitcoin could be much qu quicker and much cheaper than any of those. Um, for us to move money to another country, it is always very, there's a lot of friction there. Western Union charges something like eight percent. Uh, that can be done very quickly with uh, various sources. Uh, uh, Varum comes to mind. And, uh, and I believe we will also uh, be able to use Bitcoin as an alternative to our currency. I mean, in 2008, we didn't know if the dollar was going to be worth anything. When the markets were crashing around us or whatever, I mean, Bitcoin was, um, if Bitcoin were here in 2008, uh, which I don't think it was, um, it, would, it, it would be a stability source for our world economy. And so I think uh, when you no longer have confidence in your own currency, uh, th that's a great opportunity to use Bitcoin. But Although, as Tim, an investor, I mean, getting, I you need to be able to hedge. You, I mean, every, every uh, investor who's a fiduciary should be uh, at least partially involved in Bitcoin because it is a, uh, a hedge against all the other currencies. Um, and all of us should try it. I mean, everybody should go out there and buy a Bitcoin because, you know, you buy, you buy one Bitcoin and then go figure Tim. out how to spend it. You can spend it with Snapcard or wherever, and you can spend it on anything you want. You can go Tim, on Amazon though, listen, or I mean, there are premiums that people are willing to pay for controls on liquidity, controls on volatility. I mean, it has to be years away from mass adoption, at least in the U.S. I mean, I heard what you said about 2008, but I know that we had the bug being broken, et cetera. But I mean, there was no way that the U.S. government was going to let the entire system go down. Well, I'm, I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> but I do believe that we've got a, a big opportunity here in Bitcoin. Uh, there, are, there are new technologies. There are smart contracts b being built around Bitcoin. There, there's a whole ecosystem being built that's going to make uh, commerce much easier with much less friction and safer where right. you actually will have your, your Bitcoin account at, uh, at uh, BitMe is safer than your cash account in any of the investment banks. All that right. Is, well, at the very least, amazing. I hear what you're saying. That is a diversification play at the very least. Tim Draper, we thank you always for your time. Venture capitalist Great. joining us there.